the reason our game plan was quite simple to the players. The players, our players knew that they were better than Dunfermline. Truth, truth be told. We told them, don't, don't disappoint. Start early, start bright. Start intensity. Because they've just came off, they come off the back of something like six wins in a row. Or, or, or five wins in a draw. They were flying, really confident. If we... St- if we set the tempo early and show them that they're not playing against the lower calibre, playing against a higher calibre of team here, they'll either adapt or they'll get frightened. What happened is they got frightened. I always say to people, if you're good, never disappoint anybody. If you're a good player, don't let anybody come off that field thinking you're not as good as what you th- they thought you were. They're not as good a team. How many times have you coached the game and you're, p- and you're playing against a really good team and you go, they're really good, and at half time you're saying to your kids, they're not that good. That, you know, we can get them. I've been telling you they're the best team in the state, but they're not really. We can get them. I used to say to the, the, any team I've ever coached, if you're at that level, don't let anybody think anything other than you're at that level. Never disappoint. Be the best version of yourself. Always give your maximum. We used to say it's something, hard works are non-negotiable. Hard work is a non-negotiable. It's the only thing we will never debate. We can debate, you know, we can give players inputs on all the different things, but you can never, ever, ever, ever not give 100%. And that's the only non-negotiable we'll have. We can debate everything else, but that's the only thing we ask is any time you step onto the field, whether it be training or anything that we do from a technical, tactical standpoint, you are 100%. It is a non-negotiable. 